new startup here in Portland. Um, we're just going to go through the features of um, our deliverable. Uh, first off, kind of what Sally is. Sally is basically like sort of like an instant messaging program app for your phone. Also, on the web for your, uh, for your browser. And basically what it does is instead of having conversations with specific people, they call them cells. But these cells can also have multiple members up to, you know, a whole school, like teachers have cells for stuff like that. So um, who's going to be using our product? Uh, who's using our product is uh, obviously Celly users are using our browser. And also our product is going to be using an example of how the Celly API works. So it's also going to be an educational tool and it's going to be a reference for other things. Uh, what our product does, our product grabs the URL from a current website, posts it in a text area, and allows the user to post to one or more cells. And uh, why would, do they need this? Well, they need this to kind of save time. Uh, I did this before, and it took me 10 steps to copy and paste my URL, sign into my log, sell the account, go to the right cell, paste the cell, post message, as opposed to clicking our bookmark with button, URL's already there, selecting the cell, and posting it, and that's it. So this is really just to, see, to streamline the selling and posting process. So some assumptions, constraints, and resources. I assume that the screen resolution would not make the first slide pop. Um, that's okay. So other assumptions that we have is the user will have access to a browser, obviously, um, and a selling account. If not, it will be um, Some constraints will be experienced. I'm pretty sure everyone experienced these. Um, we have limited time, I have 20 weeks, I don't have as long as I want. Um, resources, for a five person team, we don't have you know 20 people to help us develop. Um, and then knowledge, fundamental knowledge of kind of everything that we use in the project from um, the service itself, we were new to the service, to the languages we implemented. Um, and then resources um, that we use. We use Node.js and Node uh, Unit.js for the testing purposes. Um, we use our Celly staff and our sponsor Thomas um, frequently to kind of ask questions, gather requirements, adjust expectations, um, and then Stack Overflow or any of those other random sites that help you code um, quote unquote better. <laughs> So our deliverables, uh, which we are doing, savings margin and extension, we can do from extension. Uh, as he was mentioning, as I was mentioning, is the interaction with your JavaScript flow that it is just from the browser and it will uh, take you to this uh, window and that it will give you this URL for the right to sell. And also, what we do with from extension is that there will be nothing to pass any information. From there, okay, we're using right now Recap and uh, MIT license, so all of, all of our stuff is uh, open source, and uh, it could be copied from anybody that wants to use it. And especially because it's an example for the API, then uh, that's why we uh, made it open source. Of it. 
Um, so basically July 15th, a beta of the bookmark that was due and subsequently completed. July 22nd, the bookmark that like official version of 1.0, if you want to call it that, um, needed to be done. August 12th, the beta version of the Chrome extension was due, and then August 19th, the a week later, the final Chrome extension version 1.0 was due. Um, we pretty much beat all of these deadlines by about a week, which gave us some additional time for testing, um, which turned out to be extremely necessary. Um, and then, so test cases were due, slash node uh, JS test week were due on the 22nd, and our project was compressed um, sent on the 26th with the final presentation today. Um, and then who did what? Again, this almost mimics uh, what we had assigned for the midterm. So the bookmarklet, most of the JavaScript was led by Santiago um, with assistance from Khan and Locke. Um, the HTML form and testing was led by Travis um, with some assistance at the end by Santiago. Um, and then the Chrome extension was single-handedly dealt with by Locke and Khan. Um, super great work there, and then I was just there to make the magic kind of corral um, as a project manager. And when we, when we do a project, we did, uh, we did make some problem. The first time with the bookmarklet, so we decided to work uh, with the JavaScript with the main language, and our team member, we don't usually work with JavaScript, and we had to connect with API, so we kind of stuck in many problems. Uh, we did talk about that. We met, we met one or two times with it, and every time we work five or six hours to research and find a solution way to do it. In the, with the Google Chrome extension and notification, it's not difficult to make that one. But the problem is uh, the sponsor, they want to modify it in the future, so they don't prepare the API for that one, and we cannot connect with the Google server to get the message. After a hard work in a long time, we figure out uh, we can get the channel ID from every computer, every user, and uh, we can get the message from uh, and pop up the notification when you get a message. Uh, <clears throat> we kind of had some bad things going on with uh, testing. Basically what was happening is JavaScript is very, very much an asynchronous language and uh, timing issues weren't going properly. I was executing my test, and I was looking at my web console, and you know, it'd be, I'm in test, and the next statement is, you got your cookie, or you know, you got your authorization. So all my tests were failing, because I needed just a split second to, uh, for the API to return with all the proper information. So that kind of gave us a little obstacle on testing. And also, I've never worked with Node, I've never worked with Node Neo. So just getting to know the languages just took a little bit of time. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm glad we, uh, our team member, we learn many things uh, after we do a project. Uh, we figure out the communication is very important if you want to finish a project. Uh, we discuss a lot, many problems, and, uh, and try to help each other. Uh, we have a very good for every part. We have a good sponsor, we work a lot with them, and they, they help us a lot. Every time we have a question, and they try to answer us very quickly. Uh, we have a good time management. You can see a time schedule, we got it. We try to fit it, make it on time. And uh, we have a good uh, server to share a good way. When you fit something, we upload it, and if you do something wrong, your friends can help you to fix it. Um, so for our part of the demo, we did just some kind of mitigating risk involved on <laughs> demo servers or anything. We just wanted to eliminate everything. Um, we have like a five minute kind of screencast of us walking through all of our features and uh, <coughs> people who work on the specific features will go into kind of depth as it works. So right here you see the Google Market, which is um, when you click on it, it will tell you that you should log into the, to the Google Mark um, bar. So you drag it there, and then it will, once you have it in there, you just can click on it, and it will take you to your browser, go to the web, and you find a very cool website, and you want to share it with, to a, your friends in the <coughs> and you just uh, click on Google Market, 
and we will see in a minute. And the first time we will take you to the authorization page. So I guess, and if you are logging in, sorry, you will just click on authorize. If not, you're going to log in and everything. And we have here like the interface. And if you click in the menu, you will see the logout button, which is the uh, authorization and also uh, an about page. And uh, well, going back to the interface, you have the, the select. Uh, so you have a list of cells that you could select. Uh, those are the most recent uh, cells that you have the call list. And also you can decide the name of a cell that you, know, uh, that you know, like if you find it here or the name of your friend or whatever. And also here you can type, uh, you have the URL of the website that you were browsing, but you can also type uh, anything else that you want or edit it. Or, and you have a limited library uh, amount that you can type, so it will tell you how much you have left. And after that, you get you just post to the cell, and it will tell you that it was successfully posted, and it, it will go to Google automatically, and you will see that the page was posted to cell. Um, so that is it, and also uh, you can try it again with uh, uh, not selecting any cell, but it's going to give you an error from that. Also, if you don't type anything in the, in the text area, it will also give you an error, and it will not pass anything. Uh, but here, let's see, put in again another cell, uh, and now it's going to work, and it's not going to give you any problem. Um, so, if we again decide what works. And that's it, and we can do it. Also, that's uh, what the uh, basic uh, tool company is doing. The next thing is, uh, we usually have a strong point of view. Basically, uh, the first part is uh, you see all the resources. Uh, after uh, you log into the content page, you can select um, the cell um, you want to form the message to. Um, you can edit um, the message you want to form. So uh, uh, after you uh, report um, the positive messages, uh, the notification also uh, uh, it also post the message to Google Cloud and you get it on the taskbar. Uh, the session user function is the session page. You can change the chapter to the chapter you may have changed. Then um, you go back to the session page and you can select the flag list. You can change the other chapter you may and you can select uh, the text list. Uh, the user, you don't want to get notification from the status. That's all happening. Um, that's uh, I think uh, that's only that. And then you will arrive and if you have to check the order in the text. Yeah, I'm going to show you the testing document. One of the <coughs> Not problems, but problems. Yeah, those are problems. No unit doesn't doesn't exactly have a lot of documentation how to do testing in browsers. There was one example in the thread of um, like tarball or downloaded. Even when I Google it, there was no example. So it's kind of you know not really doing what I was doing. But <coughs> these are just really simple test cases where like there's no cell, no text, there's a cell and a text present or invalid cell, and. Uh, if it just goes down to here, you can't see the map text, so that's the map that I'm bringing. But when you look up here, this is actually, um, you didn't enter in the proper URL, so like sales is expecting to get google.com, I set that up for testing. Then also, the username and avatar is failing, because uh, testing requires a user login, so it's really specific information, so the information up there was set to my account. And you log in, and ran the testing, so it failed as it should. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so thank you. Um, that's our presentation. We kind of documented it all. So if anyone has free time, which I doubt many of us have, um, you can check out our WordPress blog.